On election night in 1876, the Democratic candidate Samuel J. Tilden went to bed confident he would become president of the United States. But what happened next would lead to one of the biggest election disputes in U.S. history. More than 10 years after the Civil War, the nation was still recovering, rebuilding, and protecting the rights of around 4 million formerly enslaved Black people during a period called Reconstruction. The Republican Party had been in control for so long that their champion, President Ulysses S. Grant, considered running for a third term. But a series of scandals connecting Grant's administration to bribery and tax evasion had damaged his character. The Republicans needed a new face. So they selected Ohio Congressman Rutherford B. Hayes, who promised to clean up Washington and heal the nation. But many Americans were fed up with the Republican Party. They wanted someone like Samuel J. Tilden, the governor of New York, who busted corruption and fought for reform. On election day, he swept ahead in the popular vote and was one electoral vote away from the win. The next day, however, three Southern states remained too close to call. With each passing day, tensions mounted. It looked like the country would be divided again and another civil war might break out. But Congress came up with a plan. They created a special commission to count the disputed votes and decide who won. Over the next four weeks, they met 14 times without a consensus. But on their 15th try, they reached an agreement, dubbed the Compromise of 1877. Democrats declared Hayes the winner, promised to protect the rights of Black people in the South, and gained governmental autonomy. And Republicans withdrew federal troops from Southern states and agreed to pass laws to rebuild the South. In the end, neither side stuck to the deal. Southern states passed Jim Crow laws that kept white and black Americans apart for decades. And the ruling Republicans, predominantly from the North, went back on their promise to build up Southern infrastructure. Still, the Compromise of 1877 held the country together in a time of uncertainty. What long-term consequences did the Compromise of 1877 have on the country? 